welcome from the Tech AD Berlin 2018. I'm Christina from WeConnect and I'm here today with Professor Dr. Daniel Kremers from the Technical University in Munich. Daniel, um, hello and welcome to the conference. Hi, Christina. It's a pleasure uh, to be here. A pleasure to meet you. And thank you so much for your time to participate in interviews. Much appreciated. Definitely. As a start, do you mind just introducing yourself and give us a bit of an insight into your mm -hmm. professional background? My name is Daniel Kremers. I'm heading the computer vision team at the Technical University of Munich, which is one of the top universities in Germany. I've been working on computer vision for about two decades and from the very start almost we've been looking into challenges in the area of self-driving cars and driver assistance. Advanced driver assistance is one of the core topics of our research and so we've developed technologies, in particular camera-based technologies to make all of this possible. And you've also prepared a roundtable discussion that you've brought with you today and the topic you've chosen and you'd like to discuss later on is what are the most serious technical challenges in developing HAD. Tell us a bit more about that. What do you think are the most serious challenges? So I think there are many challenges on the way to create an autonomous car, a self-driving car. One of the core challenges that we are very well equipped for is the challenge of understanding the world in front of the car and surrounding the car. So the car needs to autonomously understand what's happening around it, in particular in the driving corridor. Mm. So that requires to reconstruct the 3D world around the car. It requires to semantically analyze and understand what is it that we're looking at here. Is it a trash can? Is it a child that is in the driving corridor? And these things obviously make a difference. But then there's much more. There's uh, plap, you know, there's exploration of unknown environments. There's path planning, obstacle avoidance, and autonomous control of vehicles. and decision making about should I turn left, should I turn right, should I brake, should I deviate to avoid an obstacle. Mm -hmm. So, you know, traffic can be very complex as we know as humans and how yeah. to model that complexity in a machine is a big challenge. And what do you think are the uh, hardware and software requirements that have to be fulfilled? So this is another important challenge is once you've devised the right algorithms to solve all of these challenges, how do you port them into a car? Which hardware, which software do you rely on? One of the important aspects uh, that people are discussing these days is to what extent do I need graphics hardware, GPUs, uh, to run the algorithms? And of course, any algorithm that can run without the GPU has a potential advantage because it's more lightweight, it doesn't need as much power, it doesn't need as much space in the car. Um, so these are all, all matters that play a big role. And then the question is, which algorithm should I run in software? Which algorithm should I run on so-called FPGAs or ASICs technologies to make them you know, mass producible, cheaper, yeah. etc. What do you think are the role of deep neural networks in future self-driving cars? That's a very good question. Deep neural networks have revolutionized yeah. many areas of science, in particular starting in computer vision in my field of research. We started uh, with deep learning in, uh, you know, the first papers that came out were around 2012. And, and then in the wake, there's been a lot of research activities in my lab and other labs on, on seeing what can we do with deep learning. To an extent that we're now in a phase of this hype where sometimes researchers believe that everything can be done with a new deep neural net. Mm -hmm. Ideally, you just get the images in and uh, plug them all into a deep net and out comes a driving car. Honestly, I don't believe this is possible. And so there is a careful consideration and it, uh, it requires a good understanding of the technology to decide which algorithms and which aspects of a self-driving car can I put on the, on the GPU and which algorithms should better not run uh, in a deep net architecture. And apart from the Challenger Peer discussion and the topic that you've brought with you and you'd like to discuss today, what else has brought you to the conference and what are your expectations? So uh, one thing I have not mentioned yet is we have recently created a startup company that deploys uh, 
algorithms, technologies for mm -hmm. self-driving cars, a company called Artisans Corporation that has offices in, in the Silicon Valley, in Munich and in Tokyo. And we're rapidly expanding. We are venture capitalist backed company. We have completed the first round of investments very successfully. And so at this point, we're looking not just for technical talents that I hope to find here, mm -hmm. but also for business partners, for clients and customers that might be interested in, in making use of the technologies that we have. Good luck with that. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for sharing your insights. It's much appreciated. Mm -hmm. And then enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you, Christina. Yeah.